welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today I'm doing some resin and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be um, showing you some really cool stuff that I got from my lovely new friend Deborah from Resin Pigment Canada. So she gave me these really awesome color shifting changing pigments that is used in resin. So um, these are the jars. Now I got lucky and she gave them to me. I was one of the very first to get them. So th I'm so new. I was one of the very first to get them that she doesn't even have the labels on them yet. <laughs> but she did put the, the, you know, the initials on the top. So I know this one's blue. So there's blue, violet, green, gold, and rose. Um, you know, all, all of them are in here. They all look white. So you're probably wondering what the heck are you talking about? Well, you will see my friends, this stuff is amazing. So I don't even know if you can see, but let me see. Can you even see? No, it's so hard to see. Like it's the stupid lighting from the pot lights, but you'll see when I pour it on the board. So they all look white. Like, I mean, you can see here, well, with the exception of this one, you can actually see that it's a little bit of gold. Can you see the gold right there? But anywho, um, so yeah, once you pour it on a black surface, you'll see what I'm talking about. So here I have a, um, just a wood MDF board. Um, I've taped the back. And can you see I had it colored um, bronze at one point, but I didn't like it. So I painted it black with just some Artist Loft um, black paint. And then in here I have um, black with resin. I, I've already gone ahead and mixed my resin, art resin, um, one part resin, one part hardener. And I used Deborah's Jet Black. So these are also sold on Deborah's website. I really love how dark and opaque and thick it is. So I am using Deborah's Jet Black. So let me see, am I missing anything? Nope, I think I got it all. So I am going, I like I said, I painted this. Um, it's got one coat. Like, I mean, obviously it has the copper coat underneath, but if it didn't have it, um, I would still only just do one coat um, on the MDF round. So let's clear all this out of here because I don't need any black other than on the main flooding here. So that takes care of that. Uh, let's use the fingers, why not? So I'll spread it around. Should be enough, yeah, it's always enough. You'd be surprised how far you can spread resin especially once you heat it up, then it's really going places. And I'm gonna make sure, I've sanded the edges because they were a little rough. And I will just run my fingers across the edge and make sure my edges are covered, even though they're, they're black, I painted them black. You, gotta, you wanna make sure that the edges are covered as well. So, man, this feels so good. I love resin. People, some people tell me, oh, why don't you use like a silicone spatula or, you know, like a popsicle stick to spread it out. Nah, I really like using my hands. That way I know I can feel if everything's been covered, if there's a edge missing that hasn't been touched with the resin. And I love the way it feels, like I said, so. All right, she is covered. And so I'm gonna just heat it, uh, hit it with a heat gun, warm it up, make sure it's uh, all good. I pop all the bubbles. So let's start with that. Let's see, is there a Juno hair in here? Is that why? Yep. Oh, I love that puppy. All right, so I have no design in mind. I'm simply testing out these new colors and these new pigments so that you guys can all see um, what they look like and how cool they are. So let's start with the blue. Let's see what happens once I pour it on here.
Yeah, you can see it. See, it's turning blue. It's pretty cool. And let's go down this way too. Thinner stripe. Save some just in case I need some. All right, we'll go with the, man, do you see it changing color? Look at that. So in the cup, it's white and look at it. It's totally changing color. So let's do the rose. So there's the rose. Now that is really turning some really dark color there, which is cool. Really liking this. Do a stripe there. All right, green. Let's see what green looks like. All right, let's go this way. Wow, these are really cool. Like, I mean, you look at them in the jar and they're completely white. Like, I mean, if it's not labeled, it would be hard for you to know what's what. Um, cause they're white. They're just completely white pigments, like powders. So, and even when you mix it in with the resin, it looks white. But obviously once you pour it down, it's not white. All right, I think I'm gonna do the gold last. Oh, so this was violet, actually. That's violet. This is the rose. Yeah, that's it. This is rose. So let's go... Let's go this way. Like I said, no rhyme or reason for what I'm doing. Ooh, wow. That is rose. That is rose. Holy cow. That is so flippin' pretty. Wow. Do a little thin line here. Oh man. Deborah, these are stunning. Holy cow. All right, let's do the gold. Let's do the gold. Let's do the gold. Let's start and do a little bit here. Like so. And maybe a little there. And a little there. And maybe a little bit more here. All right, I'm gonna leave it at that and work with that. But let me bring it up so you guys, like, I mean, you can see it from there, but good Lord, look at this. There's the, the rose, the violet. Maybe it was better when I had it down here, but look at that, that's insane. That is so cool. You never think, because look, like, I mean, they're really white in the cups. So, like, I mean, you can see a smidge, like you can see this one's green, right? But look at when you put it down on black. Woo, that is so cool. All right, let's hit it with the heat gun and get these colors moving and see what happens. This is so cool. That is super neat. And then what you can do too, I think I'm gonna add some more gold though before I start doing anything else. Cause I didn't put too much, but I think I'm gonna add some more. Uh, let's see here. Some there. Wow, it looks so cool against the black. Really cool. Really liking this. All right, let me, let me add a little more here. And blue, I like, there's no blue down here. I think this one's blue. All right, 
Nope, that was green. Damn it! Ah, <laughs> uh, here it is. Here's the blue. Oh, well, we'll go over it. We'll add it together. See, this is the problem. If you don't know, I didn't look at it carefully. I could see that it's blue in the cup. It's got that blue shimmer, but oh well. All right, let me dry my fingers. All right, let me blow that. So then once you've heated it up, what you could do is you could actually pick it up and tilt it and then really mix the colors too. That way you can kind of mix it up a little bit, which is actually kind of cool too. Super, su like this is, I can't even believe this. This is insane. I love this. Yeah. Don't mind that noise, that's my kids upstairs. What's missing? Let's see, lots of blue, lots of purple, the rose, the gold, the green. Like, I think maybe, no, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it as is because I'm really, really liking the way this looks. I, I just, I can't even get over how awesome this looks. So I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up and I'm telling you guys, this is stunning. Um, I, su I suggest this gets done on a black background. I'm not sure how it will show on a white background. Like, I mean, I could test it out. I know Deborah tested it out on her YouTube channel. Um, so if you want, go check out Deborah's channel. I'll post that link um, in the description below as well. I think she did, um, she has a video where she did a round and she did half black, half white. So you can see how it turned out on the white, but on black, like, I mean, this is stunning. So let me bring you guys in for a close up and show you guys. Let me see if I can just, sorry, there we go. That's so much better. Look at this guys, like for real, that is super cool. Like, I mean, the colors blended nicely. Like who would have thought those little jars that look white would end up having colors like this once you put them on black. Like that is gorgeous. Deborah, these are awesome. So these are Deborah's line. So she sells, you know, art res, I mean, sorry, she sells U resin and Artie Sue pigments and you know, that kind of stuff as well. But she also has her own line called Northern Lights. So this is her line. This is her Northern Lights line, which is awesome. I love that she's called it Northern Lights because it's Canadian and we are in Canada. So, okay, stay, perfect. So yeah, this is her line. So go on her website, guys. I'm telling you, check it out. Pick up the jet black because this stuff's awesome. Like, I mean, I've used like, I've used this artist loft black, like, you know, the ivory black or Mars black, but I can honestly tell you this stuff is a 10 times better and um, get her winter white too. If, if you want, if you do a lot of ocean pours and stuff like that, this stuff is the best stuff I found to date. Um, that gives you the best lacing and and um, cells for white like especially on ocean pores So there you have it guys Like I mean I can just stare at this forever. It's like a multicolor rainbow. It's it's absolutely stunning So thank you so much for watching another resin tutorial um, If you guys have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I always answer all your questions um, so feel free to ask and if there's anything you want to see in a particular, let me know in the comments because, you know, you ask and 99.9% .9 of the time I deliver. So thank you for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. Um, so that way you're notified every time I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. Um, check out all the links below. I have links to Amazon where you can click on and see all the products I use, like the heat gun, the resin, my, my torch, all that stuff that I use are in links below. Um, so click on those and go shopping on Amazon. Um, and you know, Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, which is looking kind of dull right now. I just need to find time to upload stuff on there. So time consuming. And with having two little kids and a puppy, it is, I just don't have time. So bear with me on that. But if you see a video, sorry guys, my battery died. As I was saying, if you see a piece, like a video that I do and you like the piece, shoot me an email. My email is always in the description below. If it's something you're interested, just shoot me an email. You don't have to necessarily wait for me to put it on Etsy or anything like that. Just shoot me an email and ask if it's available and we'll talk. So don't forget, you can do that. And of course, the PayPal link. Anyone who wants to donate or give me a tip to help me buy supplies, it is extremely appreciated. Like even the smallest denomination goes a long way. So for those of you who have supported me, um, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Love you guys lots. Until the next time. Take care. Bye.